so we have completed this hero section with mobile responsive so if we see this design now we have a scrolling image section where there is some logo scrolling from left to right right and those logos are few of the logos like four of them but they are just looping okay continuously showing so how we can do that first of all this type of logos or scrolling things is still not available inside pagefly as an element we can create sliders in pagefly but these scrolling logos need to be added with code and i will just put those code links in the description so you can copy paste and i will explain the logic behind it okay so first of all let us click this add elements and then i will click on layout and drag a single column layout into that section okay then i will click on the section and then i will make the set fixed width to no okay and then if you click if i go to colorzilla and if i check if there is any background color here it is f4 f4 so i'll click on this colorzilla copy special and i'll click this hex code so i'll come here and go to section go to styling and then i will paste the background color here okay it is working perfectly now we need to add it with a custom code so i'll click on add elements then i will go to the html liquid and drag a html liquid element here then i will put those codes for you uh, in the description so you can copy paste so come here in this html code open code editor and open that document i will provide you and paste those codes here okay then click done that is not end then go then i will put a few lines of css for you as well in the document so make sure you copy them as it is nothing more or nothing less so and then you need to paste them in that area called custom code editor of page fly so click on it and inside the css tab paste those codes okay now you can see image are scrolling now the image are different first of all let's control shift s to save them and then we'll discuss what is about the images how we can replace those images okay with our own images so if i click on view live page now i will find that this image is scrolling but we need those logo here okay so first of all let us save those logos okay click on save image glamour these are sbg image okay so what for sbg is we need to save them as a png so let's save them as a png glamour then bazaar then consportian or something like that okay and then there is one called elite okay so full logo and this should need to be sbg need to be png or something like that as you can see these are the logos okay now we need to go to the back end of our theme and we need to go to content and then need to go to files okay and i will upload those logos here glamour bazaar concept and la these logos then we will pick the links of those images from here and i will replace them with our demo images here okay four uh, images we are seeing okay so after uploading them we will click on the glamour logo link and i will go here and click on this html liquid click on open code editor and then as you can see every image 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 have a source so i will click on that and then what we need to do we need to come here before those quotation marks we need to select it backspace delete and then paste the link paste the image link that we have copied from here okay and if i click done right now you can you will find glamour logo has been added we'll do the same with other i'll click the bazaar logo then go here click on open code editor go to the second image and do the same thing in between those quotation mark control b to paste it then go to this uh, consumption logo then for the third image do the same okay uh, this is the second image this is the third image okay let's do the same and third image has been given now let's click on la and then what we need to do go to the fourth image this is the fourth image and i will uh, do the same click on done and now we'll see the four image showing now we have more images to be replaced right for that what i will do what i will do i will just click on image and then copy the first four from here whatever we have replaced right from here um from here just like that with selecting and control c to copy okay and then these images i will select until nine 
okay and then click backspace to delete and then paste the four from our top and now you'll find our four images is showing so i'll click on Control shift s to save and i'll show you an issue with it so we need to make sure we have more images to be here to be copied so if i click view live page and if i scroll down one of the thing you will find that it has creating a white space so if we want to remove that white space what we need to do we need to uh, make those images copied for another fourth time okay i will come after the last image and paste another four and paste another four so there is total 16 at this moment click on done and Control shift s now it will uh, the white space will be reduced and the problem will be solved so if i see it in the mobile view it is looking good uh, so there is no issue so i hope that makes sense and this will be mobile responsive as well without any issue so as you can see this section is now completed now we have this section called best seller and for best seller one of the thing here is it is having the product itself so there is a collection based products like for lash is the tab name and it is showing the for lash products then we have for blow for bra then we have for hair then we have bundles so first of all if we want to show some products from our collection we need some products and with the products we made a collection so first of all we need to add some products unless products we cannot create collection right and we cannot create that section and if we see our store in the back end in the products there is no products available at this moment so how we can import products you can use app like import products from aliexpress or if you are just selling those products yourself with selling those products yourself with uh, or your supply supply uh, your own inventory then you can just add those products manually with add products and this is what we will do right so i will add those products manually few of them like for for lash for blow this type of thing so let's click right click and open in new tab right click open in new tab and see what is the details is all about of these products okay so right click and save this image i think this is already saved right and for this let's save this as well so click on save and this will be saved and there is some pricing and everything going on here okay and for this this is just a one bottle price is 24 but it is available in quantity as well okay so that is the uh, one of the thing to be considered okay so the product name is as you can see better than they are not providing the product name itself in the title as you can see the product name was better than falsy mask eyelash enhancing serum but if you come to the product page the title is saying save up to 56 percent today plus four grifts this is the product title showing in the product page but in the collection what was the actual product name eyelash enhancing serum that is the product name so i'll right click on it and copy that product name from here eyelash enhancing serum and that is under for lash so we'll come to the add products and then what i'll do i'll click on um, eyelash uh, what is the product name was eyelash enhancing serum so that is the product name itself okay then we have some product description right this is the description we can say okay and if you see the product page the description is not loading so that is the description of that product and for the pricing of that products it is 24 and 39 is the compare price okay and in the media click on it and then upload that image no this is not the image of for that product it was for the other product so i'll click on this and then we can just upload this one okay upload this one so i'll remove that and for the pricing it is 24 and compare price is 39 okay and then you can provide cost and everything it is up to you but right now i'm not interested with anything other than the design itself right so right now i am not interested in anything other than the design itself okay so let us add those products so i'm just closing those windows that is not required anymore so we have given the pricing let's give the quantity just in 
imaginary quantity nothing to do with it right and we are we have just one color nothing else so i'll just delete it okay no need of the colors option okay and then we need to give some text to create a collection and for that if you know that is that is under for lash so let's give the uh, tag for lash so we can use it later for our uh, collection meeting okay so we'll just click on save and this will be saved okay and we need another product better than mascara or something like this right so this is the product and then click on then just it should be copied right just like that okay copied um, just like this and what i will do i'll click on uh, add another product okay and uh, paste it better than mascara and then for longer and this is 19 and 25 okay so this will be the title and then upload image and then click we can click on select existing and you can select that and then the pricing will be 19 and compare price will be 25 and quantity will be 900 okay and black color uh, this will be removed so let's clear it we don't need any color option or anything and then uh, the tag will be again for less okay tag will be for less and then we can just click on save to save that product then we need another product eyelash serum twin okay eyelash serum twin i'll just copy the uh, color from here okay a name from here and then what i will do i'll click on duplicate okay and with that i will just change the title to make things faster okay we are just making things faster so click on set as active click on duplicate and then same goes from here as well lash uh, do a mascara or something we can change the images and everything but the concept here is that we need to just do that design okay so i'll click on duplicate again so we'll find three products has been added right so i'll click on duplicate and then paste the name again and click on set as active and click on duplicate okay now only the title is different but the images is the same okay and the uh, tags is also same so now we'll create a collection based on that i will just show you the concept then you can just add any products any collection to your pages when building it or design it using pagefly right so that is the purpose here so after um, let's uh, i think this is just saving the products mm, okay so let's copy it let's copy it let's paste it here uh, okay so it is just taking way long let's go to the products and see if it has been added or not so if we go to the products so it is added as well so you can see four has been added okay uh, so let's click add create a collection so the collection let's click create collection and let's click for lash and it should be automated any condition equal to for lash okay for lash and then click on save and four products will be added here under that collection because we have given text to only four products and you are just creating one collection but for this store there is four collection showing like for bro and for hair and then there is some bundle things going on right so that is the thing so so this is the thing and i hope this will work perfectly so let's wait the collection is creating so as you can see it has been created so if i go to collection now i can see for lash has been created and there is four product under that for lash collection okay just click on manual and after creating uh, clicking on manual let's just uh, make them uh, uh, with this one to be the first eyelash enhancing serum will be the first product in that collection So we are going to the collection again 
and let's uh, eyelash enhancing serum should be the first one and then this will be the second so our collection has been some products added a collection created now we can make these sections using page fly because now we can connect dynamic products and dynamic collection inside page fly and with that we'll see some dynamic elements page fly has like we are just using heading paragraph buttons which are static which will not change based on the products or based on the back end of our shopify store but now we'll see how things we can call from the back end of our shopify store like products like collection whatever we want this is the dynamic things and we'll go with it right now so let's got back to page fly editor